Hey, hi, this is Mark Kilgard back with a third version of our uh, demos of GPU accelerated um, path rendering. Uh, we're going to move on and show some fancy fonts. You can see all the detail that's here. Uh, now let's come back and look at our tiger. Um, and this time let's look at our tiger clipped by a heart. And this heart is made up of Bezier curves and we can actually go and drag the control points around and see the heart move. So we take that all back and we can go and animate this and see that it's 107 frames a second. Coming over to Cairo it's 25 frames a second. Uh, something like Skia renders this at 6 frames a second. Coming back here substantially faster, you know, 99, 100 frames a second over here. Now, that's pretty good, but let's see what we can do when we actually make it much harder. We take the tiger and uh, let's let's go and clip it by uh, the cowboy scene. And remember, that was 1,300 paths all union together. So this is actually quite a difficult thing to do, but the GPU is doing it at 30 frames a second. Come over here and see Cairo doing it at 4 frames a second. Uh, Skia doesn't even quite do it correctly. Um, we can see that we can compute things like intersections and unions of various shapes, um, and that's easy to do in, in NV path rendering. Uh, here's an example of the kind of quality that difference you get with NV path rendering. What I'm going to do is change the background color. Now it's black, white, and blue. And I want you to look at the cracks uh, on the complexion here. And what you'll notice is as the background color changes, you'll notice that the cracks are actually letting that background color leak through. That's because there's a conflation of opacity and, um, and coverage or shape. Where over here on the GPU version, you just don't see those artifacts. They're free of that sort of artifact. When two paths seam up exactly, um, nothing leaks between the two. Here's another scene that shows that same kind of uh, effect here. Again, I, as I change the colors, you can easily see uh, that these, these cracks are there. It's not just Cairo. A QT shows the cracks as well. Um, Skia shows the cracks. Uh, Direct2D shows the cracks as well. It's really just the uh, NV path rendering that's free from these kind of cracking artifacts or conflation artifacts. Uh, here's an example of a scene that's text. It's an outline uh, done with a whole bunch of control points from a from a true type. Uh, sorry, actually a PostScript font. Um, and we can go and add stroking around it. We can also go and dash the stroking. So now if we go look at this dashing, we can see um, that this careful dashing has been done. Um, if I go and drag any one of these things, you can see that that dash pattern uh, goes and animates. Uh, Direct2D doesn't support dashing, um, whereas Skia does, and uh, Cairo does as well. So let's look at that. Let's look at a bunch of dash styles. Here's the way artists use dashes in, in clever ways. You kind of say, was there any dashing in the scene? Uh, yeah, there is, actually. If you go and pull apart the cake, you can see that these icing layers are actually done with dashing. Uh, also, these flowers are actually done with dashing as well. So let's skip over to a, a blown up version of this flower. And you can sort of see as I pull these around, it's actually changing the uh, how the flower is done. Here's another example uh, where the artist has gone and cleverly drawn all these uh, windows uh, with a single uh, dashed line to create them very efficiently. Uh, here's some dice that look 3D, but when you actually go look and pull them apart, you see that this is not really 3D. This is just an artist being very clever about using gradients. So let's look at like the rendering rate of this would be uh, 530 frames a second. Coming over here, it's 118 in Cairo. Uh, Skia does it at 120. Uh, QT does it at 160. Uh, Direct3D does it at oh, quite fast. Um, and here is some blending going on. Now here's, a, here's an example where you can see gradients, where the gradients are actually done very nicely um, over on the GPU because we have MIP mapping that can properly anti-alias this this lookup table for the gradient. But if you go and look at D3D or look at Skia or look at Cairo or look at 
uh, QT, you see that they all have different kinds of Moriae artifacts where when you start having red and blue repeating at a really, really high f frequency, you really want to see purple and that's, that's what you see. You also see that the uh, performance is much better with the GPU. Um, and uh, here's a couple video game uh, pieces of art. And that's where we're going to conclude this demo. Thanks. And uh, you can try out this demo. You can download it from developer.nvidia.com in the NVPR demos.zip file. It's pre-compiled for Windows. If you have Linux or FreeBSD or Solaris, you can compile the demo from the source code in the NVPR SDK.zip. Uh, thanks for checking out the demo, and I hope you enjoy uh, exploring GPU accelerated path rendering. Thanks.